Why build an email list? An email list is like a handy list of subscribers. These are people who have seen what you have to offer and have allowed you to send information, whether in the form of updates or promotions for a service that you offer, directly to their inbox. For example, many bloggers maintain email lists. So every time they post a new piece on their blog, the content of that post goes straight to the inbox of their subscribers, which saves the receiver the hassle of having to check the blog for updates. It's also used by those who send out newsletters. It's basically a database of email IDs that can be tapped to send bulk updates. This is used as a strategy for businesses to build a relationship with their customers and is a part of email marketing. For those of you who understand numbers better, here's a figure. According to Direct Marketing Association, for businesses in the USA alone, this strategy results in 4,300% ROI, or return on investment. Now, it's important for the uninitiated to know that the benefits of an email list are criminally underrated. For starters, emails are a very personal means to communicate with your consumer. You get to take your product or service directly to their inbox. When you build an email list from scratch instead of buying a database, your consumer goes through a simple process of filling up a form to sign up for your emails. In this case, they are clearly interested in your product or service. That makes them more open to your communication. When you depend on social media giants like Google and Facebook, you need to stay on top of their strategy. In fact, you're at the mercy of their prioritizing techniques. This means every time they change their algorithms, you have to change your SEO tactics to be on top of their lists. Through email lists, you can bypass that whole thing and get your message to your consumer, irrespective of a third-party strategy. With email lists, over time you know your audience well. That gives you insights into what is working for your brand. Based on that information, you can make your content more specific to the consumers who are interested in your product or service. Since you will not be advertising publicly and arbitrarily, what makes it to the inbox often becomes a personal message to the specific consumer. This gives you room to make interactives in the future. And since it's not on a social media timeline or newsfeed, you get to give and receive information with some level of privacy. There are people who stay off social media, but there is no internet user without an email account. So, while other businesses talk about Facebook and Twitter followers, you have a broader audience to target. The other advantage is the fact that Facebook likes and retweets don't always mean that they are going through the communique, let alone endorse your product or service. As a business, it's important to understand that people subscribe more easily than they unsubscribe. So as long as you are giving them valuable content in the inbox, you will stay right there where you belong. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.